What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hazer and today I'm gonna to show you how to climb the Bukrenci. For a long time it has been my ambition to climb Mount Kerinci. So I had found a great little place called Pelinga Guest House right off the foot of the mountain. A truly wholesome place with a calm and outdoorsy atmosphere, wonderful staff, cooler temperatures, but most important, delicious coffee and food. In the afternoon I once again met up with my Kerinci guide Jet to go over the game plan for tomorrow. It helped calm my nerves a bit, knowing that he had everything fully planned and with plenty of experience up the majestic mountain. Okay guys, we are ready for tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. This is Isa. What's up Isa? The Hi. jet, the golden jet. We Hi. are ready. Yes. Game plan. Yep, check. Uh, plan for tomorrow. Oh yeah, and something different here. Got a jengkok. Terlihat lebih muda. Yeah, like be bagus atau enggak? Lebih bagus. Ah, lebih good. Sexy, lebih sexy. <laughs> lebih sexy. <laughs> <laughs> mau ikut besok? <laughs> oh, saya mau loh. Saya mau ikut ke puncak, tapi it's too quick, you know. Monday, if you do it another week, I'll probably come with you. Ah, yeah, oh, that could be <laughs> Not fun. Not enough time. Okay, yeah. Next time, yeah. Next time I'll go with Jets. He's a good guide. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we will see you tomorrow, Jam. Tuju. Tuju. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful day here in Kerinci. It Hi. is... Oh, there's Jet. Hi, Chris. Morning, bro. Buggy. Yeah. We are ready, yeah, bro? Ready, of course. <laughs> and it is cold here. So Jess just told me that this is actually the highest volcano in Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. <laughs> That's one for the bucket list. I feel like I'm in good shape, but mm. I'm not used to hiking that much. Yeah. So hopefully I can I can make it. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> hopefully. I saya percaya. I believe you can do it. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Let's do it. So, bro, what equipment are we bringing today? Sangat banyak kita bawa tenda, tent inside here, sleeping mattress, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, tableware, king set, food for today and one night, and some snack. Sangat banyak di sini. Anna and her team made sure we got a solid breakfast, and we then said goodbye to our families on FaceTime before going off the grid. All right, guys, oh, yeah. we're ready. Bye, ladies. Bye bye. See you. Let's go. Let's go. Since we are Picasso, yeah? Yeah. Pakai helmnya dulu, Pak. Helmnya. Gak usah. Gak usah. Bye. Let's go, Isa. Yeah, so many bags. And pro tip, guys, before going on a trip like this, do not forget to throw a big water before the hike. <laughs> If you don't know what that means, Google it. Use Google. Bye. Bye. So Jet, this is where we need to make the registration, yeah? Yeah, we we'll make the registration. Okay. Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Apa kabar? Baik. Sehat? Sehat. Alhamdulillah. Pagi. Pagi. Morning, ladies. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Good? Oh. Pagi snack, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Morning. Hey, how's it going? So before you start the hike, then you have to go to this registration post first. Luckily for me, the golden jet, he already took care of all the paperwork yesterday. So only thing we have to do here is pay. It's 310,000 for a foreigner for the weekend base. And I think it's about 
200,000-ish for weekdays. Make sure you do the preparation and the registration as early as possible so that you can get a good start on the hike. And for the registration, you need your KTP if you're a local. If you're a foreigner, you need your visa, you need uh, to show vaccine, you need to show your uh, health certificate, certificate from the doctor. So you need to go to the hospital first to get what's called Surat the doctor. Adalagi? No? No, that's it, yeah. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Even on my three-night adventure, this would be a bit challenging. Ooh, my backpack is heavy. I think Jet, he just upgrade to Off-Road Master Level 3. Lima Bintang, yeah? Terima kasih. We had arrived at our starting point. And before you start your hike here, there's a small shop where you can buy snacks, drinks and park your bike safely inside until you come back again all right guys this is it no turning back now we are officially at the starting point uh, for uh, help more energy safe enjoy the trip on the summit and back is safe let's go <laughs> okay small break yeah sekarang kita sudah mulai melakukan pendakian ke Gunung Kerinci dan target kita hari ini adalah shelter 3 kita memulai perjalanan jam 9.28 harapan kita sampai di shelter 3 jam 4 sore nanti sebelum sunset Jal babi bekas babi jejak babi uh, mencari cacing You're looking for the food ya yeah? ya yeah, mencari makanan there are wild boars out here and they actually can be dangerous if you meet them. I couldn't understand it in the beginning why there's so many dogs, but the people here use them as protection for the hawks to alarm if the hawks are coming into the gardens to try and look for food. And if you meet a hawk, it can be aggressive if it's with its babies. And if it starts charging towards you, it will run like this. But it puts its head down and cannot see. So all you have to do is stand behind a tree, wait for it to run by you, and hopefully that should do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pos satu. Pos bangku panjang. Cukup cepat. Hanya 16 menit saja. Okay. So I made executive decision here. <laughs> Instead of taking break here at Pos satu, we keep going because only 30 minutes to the next post. So we can do it, yeah. Yes. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go, guys. Jangan lupa, guys. Tilalang buang sampah sembarangan. Don't throw trash. Or I will come after you. Lanjut ke pos dua. Almost post two, yeah. I just wanted to mention that here between post one and post two, the trek is becoming little bit more difficult. I can feel my heartbeat increasing. And we just met three wild pigs, but I was not fast enough to get with the camera. Hopefully we see you again. Made it to Pos Dua. Pos Dua atau yes. Bangku Panjang. Bangku? Panjang. Ba eh, Batu Lumut, sorry. Batu, Batu Lumut. Lumut, yes. Batu Lumut. And it's taken us around satu jam, yeah? Quite easy, I would say. But dari di sini sampai Pos Tiga, pos tiga. lebih susah? Se sedikit lebih sulit. Naik satu level. Uh, next level. So it gets a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Bro, what you tell me about hiking and smoking? Tidak naik, tidak, tidak, tidak berasa, tidak jalan. Ya, yeah. yeah. no, no smoking, no walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Some tourists they don't like when they guide and the porter they smoke. But guys, remember, many of the Indonesians they love smoking. So if you're really awesome, you bring them a few packs of some porna and just watch the smile appear on their faces. Dari pintu rimba ke pos dua, jangan terlalu banyak ngebus, jangan terlalu cepat, karena untuk menyimpan energi dari pos dua ke pos tiga dan seterusnya itu melewati jalur yang cukup berat. Kalau di jalan dari pintu rimba ke pos dua terlalu cepat, tenaga udah habis duluan. We're walking a lot here on the roots of the trees, so it's really steep, but the roots they work like steps on a staircase, and these big steps they take out a lot of energy. You can hear my breathing. <laughs> yeah. So you you chose the big step like this. Uh, don't use the a big one like that. Lebih susah ya. Sedikit dingin juga. Yeah, yeah, sedikit. I gotta be honest, the first three posts here has been surprisingly easy. You can feel that it's getting harder and harder. You can see the track here is getting more and more steep. Actually, I feared it would be worse, but I also know that the real challenge is gonna be from shelter two to shelter three later today. But this is steep, I hope you can see it. Ever I've been this close to a squirrel. In Denmark, they are super shy. Well, when you're hiking here, this is what you can experience. And we've made it to Postiga. Yes. I just told all the guests here that I'm the porter. This is just my guest. This is <laughs> Mr. Jet from yeah. Malaysia. Yeah, I'm from KL. And Mr. Izal from Singapore. Saya tidak pasang Inggris. Oh yeah. 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 Kamu bisa belajar dengan saya. Yeah. Kamu bahasa Indonesia. Kamu aman dengan saya. Yeah. Tentu ya. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. It's getting more challenging now. Ooh, see? It's getting hard. Maybe so hard is this. Yes. Umur berapa? Saya sudah 42. 42? Yeah. Wow. Berapa kamu uh, hiking? Oh, hampir 200 lebih sudah hiking. 200? Ya, yeah, sudah lebih. Woo! Expert level. Bro, Jet, 248 time, ya? Yeah? Ya, yeah, 248 time. Wow. Master. Tomorrow, 249. <laughs> so, I have good company here. Aman. So narrow here. When we survive, survive in the jungle, uh -huh. we found we found the the pen like this. We can eat. Its name is begonia. Begonia. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Can I try? I think in Danish it's called rababa. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> ah. yeah. Very sour, but you can make jam with this. Mm. If you make jam with this, a lot of sugar. Mm. And Aksakali. Yeah. If you run out of water, run out of food, I hope you like sour food. Because mm. it's really sour. Manis, manis, manis. Bang bang lebi enak. Bang bang lebi enak. Yo. Shelter one. We made it. Yo. So it's now 12.40. And it's a good good spot and a good time to do a lunch break. So we're gonna do that here. The guys are preparing it right now. That's fantastic. Thank God for them. And for me, <laughs> for the for having them. Senang bro. Sangat senang. Uh, hiking and 
Johnson. <laughs> Boleh gila. Okay. Yeah. All right. We spend one hour here at Shelter One for lunch, and now we're gonna keep moving. Gonna try and keep a more or less steady pace. And what is the altitude now, Jet? Uh, 2,000 feet. 500, yeah? Yeah, 500. Yeah, and it's actually really warm in the sun, but as soon as we're in the shadow now, it's a bit cold. Next shelter, I probably have to put on more clothes. We decide we will take a small break now because Jet is getting very tired. He wants to take break. Yeah. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> no, reality is Jet can see that I'm getting tired. So he make executive decision. We take small break, yeah? We took a lot of smoking breaks, but I love them. We talked about everything and nothing shared stories and told jokes okay okay let's go okay let's go ayo kita come on ayo come on oh i like that ayo kita come on come on bahasa english mix okay bro kita come on oh shit elderflower yeah bisa bikin teh dan yeah bisa bisa dengan ini yeah bisa Saya baru tahu. Uh, 2,700, yeah? yeah? Almost 2,800. Mm -hmm. And we still have 1,000 meter. Uh -huh. Yet. <laughs> Luar biasa. Still 40 minutes to shelter two. And then one hour to shelter three. <sighs> Dang, I'm starting to get tired. I thought I was in decent shape, but <sighs> this is tough. Made it to shelter too. Whew. The guys are taking a small break behind, but they told me shelter two only five minutes away. And I was like, if only five minutes away, I will continue. So we are now officially in 3000 meter, 3056 meter altitude. I believe that at 3,800 meter altitude, the oxygen level should be 20% less than normal. Shelter 2! Dari shelter 1 to... Sampai sini, 2 jam. Bagus, ya? Yeah, bagus. How are you feeling, Jet? Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Like, <laughs> like I, I should. should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still feeling good. We just came from here walking all the way down and we're going up there and now we are in 3,190 meters altitude I just told Jet that I'm starting to get every time I blink I get a little dizzy and my headache I have headache that is starting to get worse and Jet told me it's because the the altitude the air is getting more thin hopefully we are at shelter 3 soon We made it here to shelter three at 3,300 uh, meters elevation altitude. 
So the guys are setting up the tent right now. Uh, the wind is okay. It's quite cold. It's probably like 10 degrees. But the view we have here behind us is crazy. So I'm so excited to see how it's gonna look tomorrow morning. Now we're gonna get some hot tea. And then I think it's time to get in the tent and get some rest. Get my legs up because <laughs> dang they're hurting. But the guys they did a fantastic job today. They don't know it yet, but they already made their attempts. <laughs> I've made it to the inside of the tent and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be here right now. <laughs> it's so nice just being able to sit down without shoes. Oh yeah. Worth it. I don't even know what to say right now because my headache is quite bad. I thought I had kept up really well with the guys, but when we arrived at shelter 3 I was exhausted and suffering from acute mountain sickness aka AMS. As I was dizzy I had a headache, nausea and that night I had insomnia as well. This was when I realized how tough the guys they were and how the money is well spent bringing them. They did not take a break. They started immediately setting up the tent, then unpacking, cooking, cleaning and when all was finished and packed for our summit attempt they went straight to bed. This takes real power, focus and determination when it's both cold and after a 7 km 1500 meter elevation hike. And oh yeah, they were excellent chefs too. Good morning guys. It's now 4.20. We just had some Indomie, some water. It's freezing cold. It's gotta be maybe 7-8 degrees. And now it's time to go towards the summit. It's gonna be two hours and it's gonna be really steep. There's not gonna be a lot of roots that we can hang on today, mostly rocks. So I'm gonna be using trekking poles and cross our fingers that everything will be all right and that the wind will stop soon because the wind is quite heavy. So, wish me luck. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we've been walking now for maybe 30 minutes and it's getting really steep there's just loose rocks everywhere and there's a lot a lot of wind so uh, yeah it's definitely the most challenging so far also because it's difficult to see yeah let's go Taking a small stop here. We are how much further to the top? Five minutes, Ajay? Yeah? Oh, okay. Ah, last minute. Okay, we have 15 minutes to the top, and it's 6:15. But the wind is too strong right now, so we have to wait a bit for the sun to come up before we can ascend the last part. So it's rather cold sitting here waiting, but we are sitting in between the rocks which is giving us cover for the wind. It's probably, what, Dicini? Huh? Maybe eight degrees, maybe 10 degrees. It sure feels like it's freezing. <laughs> uh, we just have to wait it out. And then the final stretch was on. Yeah. Oh. 
this is an experience I highly recommend, but note, it's not easy, not easy at all. Now we're gonna go down because it's simply too cold to stay up here. We've only been here for like 30 minutes, but we have to go down. Once you reach the top, it feels like the hard part is over. It's not. In my opinion, the most dangerous part awaits, walking down. And we are reminded about this still underlying danger when we see Adi Permana's grave, the first person who was found dead right here at this monument in 1983. So please be careful, respect the mountain, otherwise search and rescue has to come and find you. So let's explore safely and keep this mountain clean from accidents and from trash. Finally, we arrive here, Pinturimba, after climb the mountain. Hi, mister. What do you feel? Hello, mister. Chape. <laughs> you chape. It feels like we were just here, and now we're back. Yeah. But just with 14 kilometers in the legs and a summit at Kulunkrinchi. We arrive 4 and 40. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it back here to where we started just yesterday and it's been an incredible experience, but my God, my legs are tired. My suggestion is that if you do a trip like this, make sure that you hire a proper team, kind of like jets, because otherwise you risk going to the mountain, then you have forgotten something, you didn't bring enough food, you didn't bring enough water, and you're gonna have a miserable trip. So Jet's company, Kirinchi Paradise, has my highest recommendations. I'll make sure to put his contact details in the description. Good job, guys. Terima kasih banyak. Kerja bagus banget. Izal. Ah, cape. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the day after the hike and wow, I'm so tired today, my legs and knees are killing me and my lips from the cold are all torn. Um, but what I wanted to tell you now is that I've invited Jet to come here later today because he has done a spectacular job. So I've decided that I'm going to support him through my YouTube community Orang Bike. He doesn't know it yet but let's see how he reacts when he arrives here later today. What you don't know is that just before the pandemic, Jet had started his own hiking company, Paradise Grinchy, and had to stop it again when the pandemic started. And after our hike yesterday, he told me that now he finally got the confidence to start his own company again. So he's gonna resign in a few days. So I'm gonna give him some support to help start his own company again. Let's see how he reacts. Every time I smile, my lips, they go yeah. <laughs> And with the, uh, your blood... Uh, yeah, come down, yeah. Come down. <laughs> Are you afraid that after you resign, mm. what if not so many bookings with Paradise Crunchy? Mmm... I think I still not, not have... Not it. have? Yeah, I don't have it. And not enough for, for my family is not enough. But you have, you have faith that more booking will come, yeah? Do you remember that I have this YouTube community, right? Yeah. I talk about mm -hmm. Orang Bike. We choose someone that we think is a good person mm -hmm. and then we support with that. This is to wish you good luck with your business yeah. and, um, and to support you and wish you all the best. <laughs> yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's one juta. Terima kasih banyak, bro. You're welcome. Is this too much? No. Maybe uh, I, do, I don't take all, but maybe uh, some percent because of Ramadan, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. you will give some away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. Thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lima <laughs> bintang.
<laughs> Terima kasih. Massive thank you to Jet. This is the Orang Bike Community. You want to say something? Thank you so much, Orang Bike Community, for support me and all for all people need need you. Thank you so much and keep it up. Yes, semangat. <laughs> Terima kasih ya guys. Thank you for watching and until next time. Yeah. You didn't know it was recording, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>